Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. The event today, it was inspired by the National Black HIV AIDS Theater Initiative. So they sent out a commission, if you will, that all arts groups, everybody that had anything to do with edification through the arts, would do at least one piece of artwork per year that would be devoted to the HIV AIDS awareness. At first you were afraid, you were petrified. As long as it's ignorant, I will always thrive. Oh, this ain't no job. When I came around in the late 70s, I was sort of like a mystery. People started leaving this earth because of me. I'm hosting the show, and don't tell anybody, but I'm supposed to be AIDS. And my piece is a spoken word piece, talking about AIDS. Oh, I'm rad, I'm bad, I'm gnarly, dude. In the 80s, I was given a name, but it's all the same. Killing brothers left and right, in the day and in the night. At this time, if you had to have a blood transfusion, you were probably losing. We still wanted to keep it entertaining. We want to enlighten the people as well as educate them, too. But you know, you want to make it fun. It's a serious subject, though but you want to make it fun. So when we, when we compiled all the pieces, we picked some pieces that were funny, you know, serious, you know, the whole gamut. What in the world is this? My man just put his arm around Andre's waist. No, not my man. Well, my character is a Southern lady. She's very prim and proper, and uh, she met a wonderful man and fell in love with him at first sight. And the secret to my story is that um, he is what we would call on the down low. It's not something that other people have. It's not a gay disease. It's something that is touching other people because people are ignoring it. And say senior citizens are getting it. Young people are getting it. Women are getting it from their husbands and boyfriends and they don't even know. And that's the main focus of today, to raise awareness. It can happen to you. Like I said, I am honest, <laughs> and I do have H-I-D. What I've learned Moto Theater works it to be is it's a culture. It's a bunch of people who come together with ideas, very talented people, people who I've never met, and we came together as a culture. They brainstorm, they get things, going, they're motivating each other, it's no my idea, your idea, my idea becomes our idea. I do too. P. <laughs> what? <laughs> G-T-H-O-H, get the hell out of here. I'm actually honored to do something like this because it benefits the awareness of AIDS. Uh, even I wasn't aware of the numbers that we will speak about, alarming numbers in the African American community. And it's very important that we know and that we get tested and that we just continue to educate ourselves. Worst of all, these young teenagers are treating sex like a game. They didn't grow up in an era when HIV and AIDS was plastered all over the papers and in the news. And now they are contracting the disease and passing it along amongst themselves at an alarming rate. As a matter of fact, the most prevalent uh, sectors of our populace that are being infected these days are the teenagers and the senior citizens. Why the senior citizens? Because the senior citizens now have 
Viagra and Cialis and all these methods of extending our sexual life. Damn. Look like the old stallion need to be put down. <laughs> I just gotta get my carburetor clean and put a new effort in, I'm good to go. Man, first you was a horse, now you a cop. Just an old, sick old man. Nah, man, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, man, I ain't no. We're going to make this part of a touring uh, presentation that we will take to schools and hospitals and any AIDS uh, organization that would like to have us come make a presentation. We can either bring the whole presentation or we'll bring a segment that will be appropriate to travel around Suffolk County, Nassau County, anywhere on Long Island in New York City. I don't do just a show. I do more. I do life enhancement. I do an awareness thing. I, I help people create a philosophy about how they're going to live.